We're here at the uh, National Book Festival with Christina Garcia and uh, on the eve of Band Book Week. And the uh, and Ms. Garcia has been the target of censors just recently. Can you tell us about that? Sure. Um, I recently heard that, uh, that uh, Sierra Vista High School, which is a, a rural-ish high school outside of Tucson, uh, pulled my book Dreaming in Cuban from uh, its curriculum and uh, based on the complaints of a few parents. And so the book is under, um, I guess the school district is now considering whether this book should be banned entirely or not. Um, one parent and also an elementary school teacher in the area charged it with uh, being debauchery, quote unquote, and quote unquote child pornography, which I, I, I can't even say that without smiling because it's so preposterous. <laughs> but I think what happened was that um, they just pulled excerpts from the novel, which of course, if, you, if they stand alone and if they had, you know, if the entire book read like that, I could see why they might think you know, it's all pornography, but of course it's in a context, you know, sex is an extension of character. Um, and I think sometimes it's very same people who are so worried about sex in the, in the books that their children are reading have no problems whatsoever with all the violence that they're immersing them in. And, um, and it seems like a false kind of sheltering. And I, I, I don't think censoring belongs in our schools uh, or with our children. My own daughter, and I say that as a mother and an author, uh, my own daughter happened to read that same book when she was 14. Uh, so without deleterious effect. Um, I, I've also offered to go and visit the school district and answer, have a kind of town hall meeting and answer any questions or concerns by parents, students, administrators, whomever. Uh, I believe very strongly that no books should be censored in, in American schools or anywhere for that matter. Uh, did you get a response from the school district? No, I have not gotten a, a response. Um, I just talked to a uh, couple of different media there. I, I, I don't know if it's, I, I don't know what's going to happen, but it also comes on the heels of a, a, a lot of action by Arizona in suppressing Latino literature. Um, that's why last year there was that whole Libro Traficante move, you know, where they were smuggling books. Think about that, smuggling books into Arizona. What, what kind of what kind of situation are we in that, that books have become such uh, it's almost like we're smuggling plutonium across the border or something it's it's absolutely I mean I would say the word silly except it's more serious than that yeah. well thank you for sharing that with us and as we celebrate the right to read next week yeah. thank, thank you. you so much move you know where they were smuggling books think about that smuggling books into Arizona what, what kind of what kind of situation are we in that, that books have become such uh, it's almost like we're smuggling plutonium across the border or something it's it's absolutely I mean I would say the word silly except it's more serious than that yeah. well thank you for sharing that with us and as we celebrate the right to read next week thank, thank you. you so much